This is the Nyko wireless Wii remote that we're going to use attached to the VESC we have here. And the plan is to open this up, get to the PCB inside, and solder some wires onto it so we can plug it into the port with a JST connector. So the nice thing about this is you got your throttle forward and brakes and then you can use cruise control and then also reverse. Got some tools here, see what we can do. And there we have it. Didn't even need all that. Way easier than I ever expected. There's the buttons. You can actually see there's clips there, right about where I stuck the screwdriver in. That's pretty convenient. And here we have the board, which already has these leads soldered onto it. So there we have it. We can just snip these guys. There's the package of JST connectors. So this is definitely too small to even use these wire strippers on. This is 26 gauge, it says on the wire, and these only go to 22, and this is definitely smaller than that. So we'll just have to very carefully try to trim it back here. This is the VESC that I got from Allen Board Company. I got the extra heat sink on here, which is pretty nice. They put a plate of aluminum on the back and then some it's like thermal paste on top of the MOSFETs. It should help keep the, the heat out of the MOSFETs. And I'm most likely gonna put this in an enclosed area on the board. So, this plugs into this port here, which has heat shrink over it currently. I'll cut that out. So it looks based on the diagram. Here it says the green is the receive wire blue is the transmit wire probably those are both data signals and then red and black I assume are power and ground the white it says is not used so it looks like we can just desolder the white wire off of the board so let's get the soldering iron going I'm going to try to do as someone suggested and remove the extra wires that we don't need on the, off the connector. The connector will plug in to the plug this way. We need the bottom two and then we do not need this yellow and then we need two more and we do not need the black. So let's go ahead and try to take those out. There's usually a little smaller screwdriver. hook that you can pull up on.
So now I'm going to trim out the area here where they put heat shrink over. Not everyone's going to use this, I guess. Double check, one by the MOSFETs, lower one is the one we need. And there we go. Boom, plugged in, ready to receive wireless signal. Now I have a little bit of space that I can fold this around, move it, do whatever. All right, now I need to move on to the next thing.